Hello, uh, this is Narain 3 phase digital starter model DOLDS with Narain 3 phase water level controller model WLC19. So, this is a bundle which we can give. So, it will be a water level controller wired with uh, the digital control starter. So, this is a 3 phase starter as mentioned with all the safety features included, which includes uh, dry run protection, overload protection, single phase protection. Along with that, it also has this LCD display which will read out current in all three independent lines. Then it also has uh, the three phase uh, RY and YB voltage readings also. So uh, it, it's a complete uh, starter, digital starter with all the safety features which can be bundled with Narain water level controller. So if at all you let us know uh, that uh, you want this as a bundle, we can wire it up also and send it across. Okay, We'll quickly have a look at this water level controller. So this water level controller is suitable for three phase uh, starters and it will have uh, two functionalities. So one combination would be you are pumping the water from bore well to the overhead tank or bore well to the sump. So in that case all you would be requiring is one set of uh, tank, it will either be sump or overhead tank. So the sensor should be placed inside that. The second combination would be the three phase motor would be installed in uh, a sump. Uh, facility so basically uh, it will be a submersible motor installed in the sum so it will be from sum to overhead tank so this is the second combination okay so uh, all right so we will quickly have a look at the connections initially so connections to the starter is pretty straightforward it will have two sets of connectors one at the incoming line and one for the outgoing line so ryb incoming power cable should be connected to the incoming line and similarly, uh, the motor cable should be connected to the outgoing line. So this is the connection to the starter. When it comes to uh, wiring the uh, water level controller to the starter, so it will have uh, these connectors at the bottom. So if you can just have a look at the connectors, uh, connectors number one and two would be uh, auxiliary supply to the water level controller that has to be uh, 440 volts. So out of the three incoming uh, lines, you can uh, tap in any two lines. So what we are doing is we are tapping red and yellow here. So from the incoming three phase supply, we are tapping two lines. So from the incoming red and yellow, so we have uh, tapped two smaller wires and those two wires are connected to one and two of the uh, water level controller for the auxiliary supply. Then three and four should be connected across the start push button. That is the on push button. You can see the, the controller. This is how the, uh, the, the starter looks. So this is the start push button. So right behind the start push button, you can see these two points. So you will have to connect wire from 3 to one of the points and wire from 4 to the other point. So this is what we mean by parallel connections. The two wires which are coming out of the controller should be connected on top of the existing wiring. So connect wires from 3 and 4 should be connected on top of the uh, existing push button that is the parallel connection then 5 and 6 is the series connection the 5 and 6 should be connected in series with the stop push button so this is the stop push button this one is the stop push button so if you can have a look at behind the stop push button there will be two sets of wires okay so uh, these are the two sets of connectors so you can tap in any one of the connectors there will be a face coming inside one of the connector you will have to remove the wire to uh, so there was this blue wire which was coming you can just have a look it was the blue wire which was going into this connector point what we are you are doing is you need to remove this wire which is going into the uh, point remove that wire and connect the removed wire to connector number five that is this gray wire so the wire which was coming to uh, the stop push button is removed and the removed wire is connected to connector number five and then you need to take a new wire from connector number 6 that is the white wire which we have taken the new wire from connector number 6 should be connected back to the remote point this point so you, you are supposed to remove this wire and connect it to connector number 5 the wire, new wire which is coming back from connector number 6 should be connected back to the remote point so this is what we mean by series connection so once this is done uh, the water level controller is set up then the next thing to uh, think about is uh, the sensors uh, there will be a sensor package which is uh, given along with the product so these are all the sensors and you will basically have uh, two types of sensors one is bullet sensor and the other one is the dry run sensor so bullet sensor looks like this and the dry run sensor looks like this so bullet sensors you will have totally eight in number so if you are using it from uh, sum to overhead tank you are supposed to drop in sensors for, for, for both sum as well as for the overhead tank 
but if you are using uh, the borewell uh, configuration so we are explaining this to the borewell configuration in that case you need to short these terminals these are the sensor connectors all the sump terminals should be shorted like this so common to sump low sump low to sump medium sump medium to sump high all these four connectors should be shorted interconnected i mean so once this is done the controller will always assume that there is water in the sump and we, we are supposed to do this for the borewell configuration so once this is done so then you are supposed to put four sensors in your overhead tank so this can be the sensors can be dropped inside the overhead tank or your sump based on wherever the water is pumping from the borewell motor so so this combination this sensors which is supposed to be put inside the tank so you will you are supposed to put four of these sensors the first sensor will sit at the bottommost point in the overhead tank the, that is the floor of the tank and the wire coming out of it should be connected to common common point <coughs> okay so we have we've used the same point here because it's the it's all interconnected so it's the common point which is connected to the bottommost point then the next sensor should be placed at around 50% mark and the wire coming out of that should be connected to tank low so tank low is the next point so this is the tank low so post that you can place the next sensor at around 75% mark and the wire coming out of it should be connected to tank medium so this is the tank medium point and then the last sensor which is connected at the topmost point in the overhead tank so this is the point where uh, you know the motor switches off once the water hits this level so this is supposed to be uh, put at the topmost point in the overhead tank and the wire coming out of it is connected to tank high this is the wire <coughs> so one at the bottom which is called common then 50% mark is tank low then 75% is tank medium and 100% is tank high so the motor switches on when the water drops below the tank low that is 50% and the motor switches off when the water hits the 100% mark or the tank high mark okay. so apart from this uh, you will also be given uh, this dry run sensor which i showed earlier so this is how the dry run sensor looks there will be two wires coming out of it this dry run sensor is used to uh, turn off the motor when the water doesn't fall inside the overhead tank even when the motor is running so there are chances of uh, the borewell motors running dry in that case what happens is when you turn on the motor uh, uh, the, the motor uh, starts and uh, after a certain time uh, the water might not fall inside the overhead tank while the, uh, the borewell is dry in that case the sensor once it switches on the motor it constantly keeps checking for the availability of water or the water to fall on onto the sensor if the water doesn't come and fall on to the sensor that is when the sensor assumes that there is no water it will still wait for another one minute time or one to one and a half minute time for the water to fall if the water doesn't fall on the sensor then the motor is turned off immediately by the water level controller and the dry run indicator which which is here which which will get popped up okay so this dry run sensor is supposed to be put at the inlet of the overhead tank so let us assume my finger is the inlet so the dry run sensor is supposed to be put uh, like this okay so if this is the inlet the dry run sensor is supposed to be put on to the inlet like this and there will be two screws so this is a flexible material so it can be uh, you know uh, tightly tagged onto the pipe and uh, these two screws which are there the water should the coming out of the pipe the inlet pipe should fall onto these two screws and then go inside the tank so, so the sensor sits like this the water coming out should fall onto this two this one and then fall onto the overhead tank so this is about the dry run sensor so once that is done uh, that's about it with respect to the connections so when we have a look at the features of this water level control you, you have all the independent uh, sensor points indicated and uh, the power on and off just in case if you don't want the water level to function then you can always switch off the uh, the level controller uh, we can still uh, work manually with the starter so yeah some indication is there if you provide sensors into the sum uh, and then we will quickly jump into uh, the operation part so we will be powering on the system so r wave indicators are displayed on the uh, starter panel as well as uh, the levels are indicated on the water level controller the starter manual on off operation will still be there so the, the video uh, pertaining to the starter is uh, explained in a different uh, uh, section wherein only the starter is focused now the focus on on to this video is more towards the water level controller so we will quickly have a look at the operation of this water level control okay so the moment you can see uh, the water levels in the overhead tank dropping you 
can see the water levels dropping the moment the water level goes below 50 percent mark the motor is turned on this is the tag empty indication and the motor is turned on you can see the motor turning on and the motor starts to run so the moment water hits the dry run sensor so you can see this flow indicators popping up you can see this flow indicators coming okay and when the motor uh, the water starts to fill inside the overhead tank the moment water fills up the overhead tank the motor automatically switches off so this is pretty much about uh, the simple water level operation and uh, just in case let us assume uh, the uh, the overhead tank is 75 uh, just above the levels are more than 50 percent and you decide to manually turn on and fill up the tank in that case you can make use of this need button need or reset pressing this will manually turn on the motor and it will automatically shut off when the overhead tank is full so i just pressed and you can see the uh, motor switching on and uh, when the overhead tank fills up you can see the motor automatically switching off okay. the water is filling up when the overhead tank is full the motor is automatically turned off so this is a very uh, basic uh, water level controller which will indicate uh, which will uh, work based on the levels in the overhead tank and of course uh, when the water doesn't fall on the dry run sensor for the set time so that that's around uh, one and a half to two minutes the motor is automatically turned off and this dry run indicator is popped up so when the dry run indicator is popped up you are supposed to reset this uh, the button you need to press this button in order to resume the operations i hope for the connections and the video was clear just in case if you have any queries you can always reach us out on double nine seven double two four three double seven four this is our contact number double nine seven double two four three double seven four you can also browse for this product on our website uh, www.narayanelectrics.in and uh, please feel free to reach us out on this number via call or whatsapp if you want more details on this thank you for watching this video